Hello, everyone, Randy here playing Farming Simulator 19 on Automotive here in our contractor series. And speaking of contracts, I would only have the one contract we're working on here at the moment. Field 16, Harvesting Corn. We finished up all the other uh, miscellaneous contracts here. So just uh, Field 16 is the only act one. So I'll we'll definitely see what we can do about taking some more contracts here this episode. Speaking of which, I see uh, Field 2 fertilizing. Looks like a pretty good one right there. We're just going to go ahead and uh, accept that. Not entirely sure where our spreader is at. I think it's out here somewhere, right? Is that field 40? Yes, it is. John Deere 6,000. Okay. Well, it looks like we can use some weed control on this field. Not our not our job. Nope. Moving on. We're doing fertilizer. I think I mentioned that here oh, was a couple episodes back. But maybe picking up another sprayer here just to do herbicide. We'll see once. But anyway, uh, speaking of uh, picking up stuff, everyone, uh, considering maybe uh, picking up from this map, so to speak, and moving to another map, I believe this is episode 19, if I got my numbers correctly. Uh, again, I'm going to never do a really good job of paying attention to episode numbers here, but I'm pretty sure this is episode 19. Uh, I'm thinking of what I might do one more episode on this map, so we get this to episode 20, just kind of a nice even number there, and we might move to a different map. Still tentatively planning this one. Not 100% sure that's going to happen. We might keep playing on this map here a little bit. Again, great map if you ask me. Just we played on it before. And I wouldn't mind checking out a different map. A uh, map I was initially planning on playing before I started on this one. Just that one wasn't quite ready yet, I didn't think. So it's like, you know what? Need a new plan. Happen to see this map. So we started playing on this map. But uh, that map has since been released. And it looks like it's all good now. So we might go back to that one soon. See, not sure of one, not sure, but that is kind of the tentative plan at this point. So anyway, uh, let's get this uh, spray over to field. I don't know where field two is right. Yes, it is right where I thought it was. Slowly uh, learning my way around some of these uh, more back fields here that I don't or haven't really played on when I have previously played on this map. Again, for those of you who have not seen it, uh, we've done I think two autumn oaks series here so far. We did one back in seventeen. That was multiplayer. I then did a regular single player one here when 19 first came out. Again, that map uh, eh, probably wasn't the greatest choice ever because that map was pretty broken at that point. Missing some uh, shadows here. Hmm. Someone forgot to pick a shadow box. That'd be my fault there. I just noticed this. I just noticed this. Oh, yeah, this road has shadows on it, by the way. Compared to the other roads, it does not. Yep. Oh, well, noted, everyone. Well, we're missing a tick box on the shadow here for this uh, one arm. Not sure why it's missing it. Weird. Well, good to know. Good to know. Things you don't really notice I mean, until you're going down the road, right? And then, hey, we're missing a shadow. I, obviously, I'm, I see the hose has the shadow on it, but the arm itself does not. Also, these arms I mean, clearly are not folded up uh, well. It's debatable even if these arms are folded up properly or not. Uh, look at that back when I did some work on this mod as to which way the arms of this are supposed to fold up. Uh, it seems like there's a couple of potentially different ways. One of which was this way, by the way. Uh, if you look at the pictures, it was just they're right behind. The other ones over there are folded up crisscross on the back here. That, I presume, is probably supposed to be the correct way. However, obviously in this case, we didn't quite do that. It doesn't really look like this is necessarily set up for that either, the way they've got this mob. I'm not sure how that works. Uh, again, like I said, the way it's modeled, I mean, it doesn't look like it's capable of doing that. But, again, I'm not the original mod author of the, the sprayer. The uh, original mod author, I'm not actually sure who the original mod author is. There's just a lot of problems with this mod one. kind of like it, so you know what? I'm going to go ahead and fix it up, so that's what we did. Also, re dramatically reduced the file size on this mod. Those you remember the original file size, I think was what are making the mod or something like that. Now it's, I don't know, maybe it's 20 or something. Not exactly sure on the file size of this mod. I don't remember right off the top of my head, but it's down to a much more reasonable level. Plus we fixed a whole slew and host of problems and random things. Oh yeah, that's right. I, mean, I remember now. Uh, we're not filled properly. We got that solved. Also the weird collisions in the back. And yeah, just a plethora of problems. Poor mod. Uh, right. Yes, it is. Okay. Let's do course generation field two. Yeah, three headlands. That's probably should be pretty good. A couple peninsulas and stuff that might get in the way here potentially. I don't think there's any like islands in the field, so we should be good in that regard. And we'll tell them to start the first waypoint. Oh, we could probably use some uh, repair on this. But let's uh, we're gonna. Oh, they always oh, fold out. Okay, I was gonna say, is he gonna drive? Where is that? Yeah, we'll just do some uh, quick repair here. There we go. 
Uh, fuel wise, it looks good. Okay, fuel is good. Okay, that uh, contract is going. I'll be looking over on the cornfield here. Hey, combine's still rolling, yeah. Combine's not overly full either. I'm wondering if I should be as concerned about that. I don't know. What are we looking at here? Field 16 harvesting, 92% done, and we need to deliver it to Risser Grains. I don't think I've delivered any corn there yet. I don't think. Uh, yep. I think this is all we've got off the field here so far. I've just one load that is in the truck here, and that is it. I guess this isn't really that large of a field, so to be expected, I guess, to some extent. Uh, okay, field three cultivating. Not bad. $9,000. Field 13 also cultivating. 7,000. Field 15 cultivating for 4,000. Definitely some good contracts. Where is our cultivator? Is that, is that the one on? Nope, I don't think that's the cultivator. Ooh, that's not way out by 22. Yes, it is. It's way out by 22. Okay, that'd be a bit of a drive to field three, but I mean, I guess I mean, that's, uh, that's a pretty good contract, so we're going to go ahead and uh, take that. We're all looking at uh, what, $388,000 here, everyone. Definitely uh, considering maybe a nice, larger, newer track here, something a little more speed. I'm not entirely sure what yet. Maybe, I don't know, 7R, 8R, something like that. Or maybe a red, I don't know, maybe a red track. Or maybe a no, maybe. We'll see what's up. Not sure. Uh, if we do go to a... The water don't look, look. Yeah, well, whatever. Um, if we do go to another map, everyone, I'm thinking I'm going to keep probably the same play style. We'll probably kind of keep doing the contract. I'm kind of rather enjoying this. kind of fun for something different, everyone. Uh, seems like a good way maybe to wrap up Harmon Simulator 19 as well, right? So we'll see what's happening. That's kind of what I'm planning at this point. I'm probably going to keep on the contracting and depending on how that goes on the next map, everyone, again, if we switch maps, I'm not 100% sure we will, but if we do switch maps, everyone, kind of think we'll keep up with the contract and maybe depending on how that goes maybe we'll like buy our own farm with the money we make the contract we'll see what's not entirely sure not entirely sure anyway well i'm gonna drive this over to the field level and we'll be back once i've uh I've got this to the field okay we're almost to okay we're almost to our field three here actually i think we are to our field three here at this point so we'll get the uh, course play going on this here a moment. And, uh, yeah, this uh, drive over here definitely uh, reinforced the fact that we wouldn't mind having some faster tractors here, uh, And faster tractors are probably going to be the newer tractors. Anyway, let's get the uh, course generation going here a minute. Course generation field three. Let's see, I don't know what we have then. Uh, maybe for three. Uh, we'll see what the three looks like here. Should be pretty good, I would think. And then uh, while we're driving over here in the harvester on field six, he's either finished or... He stopped. Not sure which one yet. We'll have to go check on it here in just a moment. So I'm going to drive the course. Yeah, we'll let uh, course by take care of that here. And then what's going on over on field 16 here? Are we actually finished? Let's see once. It looks like we actually might be. Well, not quite. Not quite. I'm not sure why he quit. Yeah, so I got like one pass. That's not so bad. Oh, we missed a couple stocks. Oh, well. Looks like we got a little bit of wear and tear on this combine, so we probably should repair as well. We'll uh, see what's about that here once we're done with this uh, contract. I'm not sure what else we got for a contract here. We'll have to uh, check that once we're done with this one here and see if we can get this uh, combine going on. Any more uh, corn or sunflower harvesting contracts or not. Yeah, we'll let that go ahead and unload. And, of course, the contract's probably not finished yet. Is it field 16? Oh, it is. Oh, okay. Um. Oh, Okay. Apparently, I, mean, I must have turned in some grain for this already. I, I don't remember turning in any grain. I thought everything that was on this field, well, it's still on the field yet, as far as I know, but uh, I don't know. Not sure. Anyway, it says we can collect the contract. We'll go ahead and collect the contract. Who cares? Uh, we'll go ahead and sell the rest of that corn here at some point. Let's see. That's cultivating. Field 9, harvesting. That is oats. Uh, field 24, that don't look too bad. Field 24 is wheat. Isn't that one of the fields back here, though? Uh, 20, yeah, it's one of the ones back there. Those are... Well, not too bad, I guess. Not too bad. Uh, 17 sowing, sowing. Harvesting 14 soybeans. Wouldn't mind seeing like more canola contracts. I mean, canola ones definitely pay quite well. Oats. Oats on 8. Harvesting on 19. That's also oats. A lot of oats here, apparently. Barley on 32. Field 4 is wheat. Field 26 is oats. A lot of oats here again. Uh, canola, field 7. 
$7,000. Where is a field seven? That's probably up uh, this way somewhere. So yeah, we got a seven. There was a field nine as well, wasn't there? There's a couple of fields in this region that can be harvested. Field 36, yeah, probably not field 10. Yeah, there's another 10. Oh, there's 10 on corn. Where's 10? Is that overly far away? 10 is right uh, across the road from the shop, eh? Oh, wrong one. That's not too bad. Field 29, also canola. Okay. Hmm. Kind of looking at that uh, 10 one just because we got the combine set up for corn at the moment. Let's go ahead and uh, do 10 on one. It's not uh, overly uh, expensive or worth a lot of money, but hey, it's still uh, the same crop for harvest now that we'll probably switch out headers once we've done that job. Or maybe more happily, it might end up switching maps when we've done that job. We'll see if it's not true. At least the uh, combine goes a little faster than the tractor, whopping uh, 27 miles an hour. That's interesting. It's close to oh, oh, yeah, okay. It does go a little faster. I guess the cruise control wasn't quite maxed out, was it? Yeah, 27 miles an hour. That's actually not bad for the combine. I will definitely uh, take that. that. I think that's our fastest piece of equipment here at this point, then, everyone. Um, yeah, most of the rest of the tractors are all like in the teens. Oh, so, you know, 15 miles an hour, maybe. I don't know if we got anything else that even goes 20, do we? That will look at the rest of the uh, speed. Older equipment. That one does go quite fast. The newer stuff tends to go a little quicker down the road. It's nice. And at least uh, in real life, too, I mean, given the fact that uh, farms are kind of uh, spreading out a little bit more, uh, it's a little more important, too, that the uh, track attack go a little bit quicker. You know, back in the day of one, you go back, I don't know what, probably 50 years ago? Let's just pick a number, say 50 years ago. 50 years ago, I mean, you know, the farm was probably all contained within, what, a mile or two? Uh, depends on the size of the farm. We've got a really big farm, but it was still probably all, you know, not much more than a mile apart, right? Or if we had more than a square mile, they were probably all right next to each other as far as the land went. But nowadays, I'm mean, uh, not a common farm. We have a chunk of land here, a chunk of land there. And you might have to drive, you know, 10 miles, maybe 20 miles between the field potentially. And yes, when you're going, you know, 10 or 20 miles between a field, I'm one. Big difference between uh, 15 miles an hour and 25 miles an hour, or even uh, you know some of the newer tractors maybe upwards of 35 miles per hour. Okay, field 10 is that the one? I think that's the one. Yes, that is. That is field 10 right there. We might as well just uh, bring the truck down here then, everyone. I have no sense uh, selling the corn that's in it here until we're done with this field. Hired worker here a minute. And we'll go grab the uh, truck here. Uh, field 2 fertilizing is complete. Okay, that one's done. Nice. Go stop uh, course play. Unless, did course play stop ready? No, it didn't. We're going to go ahead and stop them. No sense uh, finishing the field. We're not going to waste our spray on that. Not sure how much of the field is actually finished, but all I know I want it was enough to finish the contract. I'm good with that. Go ahead and take the uh, track here. Not track, the truck, I'm sorry. Truck down to the field here. Also got fertilizing a couple more we can have to do here. Not to mention, I know I've seen a sewing contract too in there as well. So both uh, plant tractors sitting out about somewhere. Uh, debate as well on uh, the next map. Again, I'm not sure I'm going to go to the next map to do. That. Sorry about that. That uh, truck is a little loud. I'll bite that down a little bit. Hopefully you folks can hear me a little better now. I just realized how loud that was. Uh, what was I saying again here? Oh, yes. Uh, we might uh, generously uh, donate ourselves <clears throat> uh, some pieces of equipment here just to make it a little easier on the next map. You know, again, I mean, uh, my goal on this map was to start from nothing, and that is literally what we've done. We've started from absolutely nothing. And I don't know about you folks, but it's been fun. I think we've been uh, quite successful with it. Uh, our equipment is maybe a little older, but hey, it's getting the job done. Definitely getting the job done. And it's definitely been a lot of fun here for uh, just a little bit different uh, play style. Again, for those of you who have maybe not tried this before, definitely highly recommend giving it a try here. Just kind of do a contractor-only series. 
up to you if you want to start with absolutely zero or if you want to you know start with a couple of pieces of equipment i know we did this once before on the multiplayer server i think if i remember correctly on the multiplayer but i think we started with a little bit uh, money not a lot if i remember correctly but uh, yeah it was quite a bit of fun on the multiplayer server there as well just uh, everyone just did contracts and it was uh, quite surprising what we ended up with on that map. We, uh, if I remember correctly, we made some pretty good bank on that map. So it's definitely a good way to make money. Again, depends on the map, everyone. Larger fields definitely make more money. Uh, and there's only a, you know, a handful of larger fields on this map. So most of the rest of the fields here, you're making a couple thousand, 10,000, maybe upwards of 20 at the most. Even the bigger fields on this map, everyone, I think we're, what, making maybe 30 at the most. Though I know, was it planting we had, what, is it $90,000 or something? But again, we got to pay for the seed, everyone, so, you know, $90,000 contract, then that combine is finished already. Okay, well, why am I driving anyway? I should really go get a contract here first before I go drive this uh, the sprayer somewhere. Let's see, you're stuck on a tree? Yeah, we're stuck on a tree. Clean up this uh, corner here just a little bit of a minute. Interestingly enough, in uh, farming simulator here, I mean, the combine does not harvest backwards <laughs> compared to cattle and crops, where the combine will harvest uh, if you're backing up. Rather interesting. Rather just uh, thought that was kind of amusing. Again, for those who have not seen my uh, cattle and crop series here, my recent cattle and crop series, highly recommend checking it out, everyone. Really uh, cool game. Uh, maybe, you know, check out the videos first before you're going to go buy it. Just one thing to note about cattle and crops. Doesn't appear to be in developed anymore at this point. Not sure if the uh, current owner of the game is going to develop it further. No idea on that one, Evan. So, like I said, it's not currently being developed anymore. And then uh, on top of that, there's not a lot of content in the game, unfortunately. But what is there, Evan? Uh, is I would say very, very solid. Definitely some good content in the game as far as uh, its capabilities, and GPS, and seeding, and fertilizing, and all that good stuff. I'm really, uh, really very nicely done in that game, if you ask me. Oh, yeah, gonna miss the tree. Okay, I'll say there's a tree right here. We don't hit that. Okay, on to the contracts here again. Cultivating, cultivating, uh, spraying. Oh, that's probably, yeah, that's herbicide. We don't want that then, at least not at this point. Oh, we had some more fertilizing ones. Uh, fertilizing field one, that's not too bad. Uh, how far away is field one, though? Where is field one, for that matter? Field one is back there. Okay. I probably should have uh, not driven the sprayer up that way. Let's uh, let's go for it, Evan. I don't think we've done any work on field one yet. So let's go down to field one, see what field one looks like. Back it up. Beep, beep, beep. Need a backup beeper on here. And go ahead and pull, close course play for now. We don't need that. Reminder again, by the way, and if you haven't uh, done so already, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. They're always very much appreciated. And, of course, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you do that there as well. And then if you'd like to uh, follow myself over on uh, Facebook, Instagram, all that other uh, great social media mumbo-jumbo, you can find links down below for that as well. Again, links are down below in the uh, description there. And speaking of the uh, description, by the way, one. Uh, you can find things like the mod list. Uh, if you'd like to help support the channel in different ways, I do have like Patreon. Um, I don't mention Patreon very often. I'm not, your folks are more than welcome to watch the ads. It doesn't cost you anything to watch the ads. Helps support the channel. Always very much appreciated. But for those who maybe want to support it in a different way and or additionally, like I said, that's always very much appreciated as well. And, of course, as always, I'm going to always uh, encourage as well. If folks have any comments or questions, be sure to throw them down below. I usually mention that at the end of every video, but, hey, we'll mention that here as well. Uh, also, down in the description, uh, I think I mentioned mod list, but if you'd like to uh, join us on the multiplayer servers, Evan, that information is also down below. Please join us in on the RDL and TeamSpeak server. Again, RDL and TeamSpeak server information is down below in the description there. Again, anyone is welcome to join as long as you can play nicely and follow the rules. Okay, we're almost to field one here. We'll get the uh, course play going on that once we're there. And then maybe we'll take another quick look at the uh, contractor list. I haven't seen if there's any other uh, good contracts we want to take here or not. 
Oh, yeah, it's kind of a cool little uh, field way out the back here, isn't there? I have not been out to this field here yet. Funny how the path kind of curves around like this, then enters the field over here. Like, what's the purpose of that? Don't know. Anyway, let's get the uh, course generation going here. Field one. The one. Uh, uh oh, Houston. Uh, did I take? I took the contract for it, right? Field one. Oh, I didn't. Did I not? Oh, I thought I did. Okay. Apparently that's why. So field one. Where's field one here? Okay. Slightly confused. Um. Uh, didn't I take? Did I? Okay. Harvesting. 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 Uh, let's see what's okay. Maybe we won't be spraying this field. Ever. I'm not seeing unless I'm going blind here, which is very well possible. I highly doubt it. Uh, there's the spraying one. Yeah, did the uh, contract for field one disappear? I imagine it must have disappeared. Yeah, but I'm not seeing. Well, I thought I took the contract for it. I guess not. Either uh, one of them disappeared or, and or I forgot to take the contract for it. I'm not sure which one. At any rate, I guess we... We won't be spraying field one here. Um, oops. Oh, well. Um, and yeah, I didn't see any other fertilizing contracts other than the spraying one. And I really don't feel like us switching out the fertilizer in the sprayer for herbicide at this point. So we'll just, uh, oh, well, it is what it is, I guess. Let's uh, see what else we got then. Field 13 cultivator. We only got one cultivator. So unless we uh, decide we want to solve that here a minute and get another tractor, which I'm tempted to do. We might we might just do that. We'll see once here. Everyone. A lot of oat. Harvesting ones. We'll have to uh, switch out headers here. Ooh, field 24 harvest. That's not too bad. Wheat in 20. Oh, that's right. That's the one that's way in the back, though, isn't it? Yes, that's the one way in the back. Wouldn't mind maybe looking at getting another combine as well. And that, uh, I think that would pay quite well. I think, anyway. Oh, the truck. Yeah, the truck's too close, isn't it? Well, might as well go ahead and unload while we're over here. I don't know if the combine really needs it or not, but... That uh, parked off to the side here for the time being. Well, while we're waiting, everyone, I think we might as well go shopping, right? Let's uh, see what we get for some tractors here. So we've got about $413,000 to spend. That uh, that definitely gives us some money to work with, I think, doesn't it? I think so. John, you're 8530. Always a good uh, classic. I mean, unfortunately, this tractor just ne it needs help. It's uh, It definitely has some issues. It's got some weird issues, too. I don't know what's going on with this one, but... Uh, one of those ones I always wanted to take the time to fix up. I just have not gotten around to that, unfortunately. So, oh, well. Uh, there we go. Nice looking 8R. That's not too shabby. 185000 Of course, uh, once we're done blinging out, it'll probably cost a little more. Eighty two twenty five. We'd probably want... What will this go up to here, by the way? Eighty three forty five. At least probably want the eighty three forty five, which bumps us up to $250,000. Might as well put some uh, weights on the front. Uh, wheel brand Goodyear. That's a that's a lot of weights. Just saying. Uh, with the row crop with the uh, the hubs. That's uh, why would you have hubs on it without the actual duels on? Weird. Whoa, triples. Now we're talking. I think we'll probably just go duels all the way around. If you ask me, I mean, that's probably what I would go with. Fenders. Yeah, we want some fenders. Both front and back. Sounds good to me. Trumpets. Nah. Quick attacher. Sure. Sounds good. Oh, for 3000 Nah, we'll just go standard. Doesn't do us any good. Mirrors. Extra 3000 No, I think we're good. No beacons. Uh, GPS would probably be nice, but um, that's going to cost us an extra amount of money, so that can save us uh, so basically 25 horsepower. Save us about seven. Well, actually, that's eight thousand dollars, isn't it? Eight or nine thousand somewhere in there. Actually, yeah, about nine thousand dollars. Okay. Auto power transmission, power shift, IVT. Uh, I guess the auto power transmission is the cheapest. Hood configurations, nope. Seat configurations, John Deere leather seat, John Deere active seat. Four light selection. Wow, five light selection. Five lights definitely cost a little more money. Not sure if I've used this uh, tractor or not. I don't remember some of these uh, configurations. Either that, I mean, this is an updated. This is probably an updated version of this tractor. A lot more uh, configurations than I remember. Toolbox, no, nah, we're good there. Let's see, toolbox. What is that? Probably an extra three thousand. No, one hundred eighty. One hundred eighty dollars. Wow, cheap, cheap. 
Yeah, but I'm thinking that looks like a pretty uh, decent choice right there. Bane, if we want to put uh, GPS on this, that's uh, $15,000, though. Um, And to be honest with the fields and most of the work we've been doing with course play, I think we're going to go without it. And that still leaves $149,000 left. Might just let me pick up. What do we got for another cheap cultivator? Let's uh, maybe throw a cheap cultivator on this just so we can uh, use the tractor. Or what should we actually get for the tractor? That's a good question. I was thinking cultivator. There's a 10 meter harrow. Haven't used that before. And that does count as a cultivator, I guess, per the game. A John Deere uh, 200. This really isn't... Uh, Really isn't a cultivator per se. Uh, Great Plains. Oh, that's a nice, uh, nice cheap one. That is 9.4 meter, 200 horsepower. Yes, that actually might be a good, good choice there. Another Tiger Mate. Oh, yes, the big Tiger Mate. The big Tiger Mate. That needs 500 horsepower, though. Ooh, that might be a good choice for the next map. One. Might be a good choice for the next one. Just saying. Okay, I think we're going to go with the uh, Great Plains for now. $15,000. Yep. It's a good choice if you ask me. And this track can go, uh, what, yeah, 31 mile an hour down the road. I like that. And that leaves us, like I said, 134000 So we can probably purchase another combine here. Yeah, so we can probably need like, another 100000 here or so. But uh, I think $100,000 is well within the reach. We look at getting a second combine, which I think would be a good choice. Ah, uh, yeah, the track is good. See, like, uh, I guess before we go anywhere, I should probably look and see what we got for contracts here. So, cultivating field 15. I think that's uh, right nearby, isn't it? Oh, no. We're going to take the contract, and then we'll go find it. 15. Ah, it's right down the road. Okay. Well, I think right down the road, but it's not far. Away. Not terribly far. Away. play going there. Man, mouse, mouse pointer's not working. Ah. Well, then we might uh, might have a slight problem here. Maybe I should have put GPS on this. It doesn't look like this tractor is going to work here with force play because I cannot get the force play menu. Yeah, the mouse pointer's not uh, showing up like that. Message about that? No, don't see no air message. Oh, uh, is this tractor have ice? I wonder if this tractor has ice controls. Ah, uh, yes, it does. Okay. Yep, and apparently it does not have the. Is this 15? Right? Uh, it does not have the IC controls that is compatible with uh, course play. So, good to know. I and mean, that is good to know, unfortunately. Yeah, this must be an updated version of this track. I'm going to read that a newer version. I forget which one it is. must be updated, I think. I'm pretty sure I've had this tractor before, but updated it. Apparently, the IC controls is added back on. I'm pretty sure I fixed that in the past. Removing the IC controls might have to do the same thing here. Oh, hey, if I hold down space, I can actually get to it. Okay. Might be able to make that work yet. Um, I don't have field 15, right? Field 15, cultivating. Here, I'm not confused here. Uh, tear off the middle of the field. Uh, I'm looking at the right field here, right? Field 15, cultivating. Cultivate, uh... Is, uh, is this considered this um ew, this is considered a plow is that's right I forgot about that and this is considered a plow 
that is why but I'm, at least i'm pretty sure someone correct me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure this is considered a plow that is why we're getting okay so never mind oh well eh, yeah it's time to wrap up the episode here do we have one so much for that one you gotta buy the back port, the back port, the back port. So, the whole barrel, that, that's the Okay, well, uh, noted. I'm back to the shop. I'll probably switch those out. Uh, I don't know. I'll figure it out off camera. Either get a different cultivator and or I'll get the rolling bath. But anyway, gentlemen, thanks for watching. Comments or questions, be sure to leave them down below. And until next time.